with the strike of a light bulb. I just air it out and leave with the mic broke. Your micro, I'm hard body like Tycho. Heavy metal Chevys with nitro. Addicted to the vapors of paper, hypnotic to the thirst. I'm pulling off criminal capers. I know the cocaine cracker stinks, but that's what it is. Surrounded by the khakis and mints. We move. Oh, Tony. Tony. We're gonna we're we're going to see Courtney Gears, Tony. That's right. We are in the level of pink. The this pink. Week. Oh man, pink and purple and just gorgeous, man. This level pissed me off so bad. <laughs> Why? Why did it piss you off so bad, Tony? I got Tony? a stern talking to saying I had to stop using purple and pink effects, and then it seemed like the next week I saw this level. And I was like, what? Why do I have to stop using pink effects? Oh. Look at this level. It's nothing but pink effects. Because I'm better than you, Tony. That's why. I was so annoyed. Because this level. Because, Tony, this level used all the pink effects. Like every pink effect that this game had, this level used. Uh, I mean, well, it had to be pink, though. It had to be pink. And, like, really Courtney Gears, like... Right? Yeah, but why couldn't my stuff also be pink? Why Why did you, uh... I mean, the answer's obvious. I'm just asking rhetorically. Why did you want your stuff to be pink, Tony? Because it stands out. It's very... You, stand, it, it, like, catches your eye. Are you saying that blue and red, as, as the only permissible effects, might not be... <laughs> it might get a little repetitive. Really? Maybe a little bit. Dude, so uh, in the Japanese version of this game, we had to make the shit around the outside not rotate. Oh, I know, because <laughs> uh, that's actually a big thing. Is that uh, Sony Japan pushes back a lot in terms of being like our players are going to get motion sick from their game. You have to tone it down. And th- uh, of all the levels in this game, this level was the most likely to make a person motion sick. Man, the sound guys must have had a blast with this level. Yeah. <laughs> They got to do like remixes on the Courtney Gears theme and stuff. Yeah. You notice we're still using your uh, your dudes who work on spherical surfaces. Yeah. These guys uh, aren't the spherical guys though. These are Magna Boots guys. The Magna Boots versions of the spherical guys. Yeah. Could they not? W- w- they Ma- weren't the same thing. Like, well, we talked about how gravity works on spherical worlds and how gravity works on Magna Boots. Right. So they're different. Um, but I mean, couldn't you? Uh, I mean, couldn't they be the same guy that works with no. a variable up, and then you... No, it really no? isn't. Really? Yeah, Why is that? Well, like, like I said, the gravity on the way the spherical... We have a whole suite of spherical world functions. Uh, so we're not... So... Uh, and and so that's the thing, is when you're on spherical worlds, you basically are just calling the, the spherical world suite of things to, you know, make things work a little better. And when we're not on a spherical world, we don't get to, we don't get to use those things. Uh, and so it just has to be Magna Boots style guys. That makes sense, I guess. That's that's cool. I'll take it. Uh, oh, dude. So this is, you designed so I, this level, right? Or did you? I did. Yeah. I uh, and this puzzle right here that that you have to do, I stole this from Mark Cerny's Magna Boots section in uh, Ratchet One. Right. <laughs> this exact puzzle was in Ratchet 1, and uh, Mark actually was reviewing the build, and he looked at it, and he's like, nice, Mike, nice, because he, he knew I stole from him. God, there's so much stuff that's going on on the screen right now. Yep, there's the the little things that damage you on the ground, there's the sparks coming down the wires, there's, oh, God, it's, uh, it's a pretty crazy level, man. Are we going to go right to the boss battle here? We are. Uh, the boss battle designed by Colin Munson. The original draft of this boss battle was supposed to be a musical boss battle with, where it was like a rhythm game and you had to match what she was doing while she was singing. Right. But uh, no time. No time to write another song. No time to do a rhythm game. So it, you ended up with a you know standard combat sort of Courtney Gears song. But it worked. I liked it. I thought the Courtney Gears fight was a lot of fun. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Did you uh, did you code the Courtney Gears fight? Who was that? That was Jared. Jared, okay. That's impossible. Not for Doctor Nefarious. Don't be afraid, Ratchet. 
transformation desert. Okay. Uh-huh. The shadow volume teleports. Man, I loved Courtney Gear. She was one of my favorite Besides, characters. I think you she hardly did anything too, but I just Let's I loved that she was a pop say. diva robot. It's a great character. About her appearance. She had a really good character. Man, it's I like so that we busy. have all of the all the screens and all that stuff going on over here. It's so crazy. Definitely gives you the impression that she's very full of herself, doesn't it? Yeah. She's in the go go cage. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this. And she's got the backup dancers and oh, and in each like. It looks like she only appears in some of the cages and the backup dancers appear in the other ones, so you gotta... That's cool. Ah, oh, man. Oh, where the hell is she? Maybe she's out right now. Where are you, Courtney? There you are. Bam. Courtney. There you are. Bam. Man, I haven't done anything to her. Man, you're getting plastered right now, too. Someone told me that the uh, that this was the game where we put in the double tapping to switch weapons, so let me try that. I think that ah, was I think fuck. that had been in for a while. Was that in Ratchet 2? I think it was. Oh, we just didn't do it right? Uh, you didn't do it right. <sighs> oh, is that the shield yes, Tony, charger? I'd... You already have? That's the shield charge. Oh, you already have well, the shield charge. Well, it's the hollow. Yeah. It's the hollow shield. When did you buy yeah. that? Uh, when we were doing the. Uh... Uh, the giant robot torso slash crate throwing monkey segment. It was a while ago. Oh. Alright, so I don't think I can talk about this and play, so why don't you tell people what you think about multiplayer games like you promised them you would. Um, so, it was such a pain in the ass because it's not like we could even... The thing about multiplayer that was very scary uh, on Ratchet and Clank was that we couldn't even be certain that people were going to use it because right. it, play, uh, online wasn't native to the PlayStation 2. Uh, you had to go buy the, the modem uh, in order to do any multiplayer. And uh, so it's not like we could assume that our, the attach rate for people that use multiplayer and play on Ratchet and Clank was going to be... We couldn't make any assumptions as to what the attach rate would be. We didn't know how, what our crossover of the audience was of people that had the modem and people that played Ratchet and Clank. Um, and the best... Even the best case scenario for online play at that point was pretty low. Well... Like, I think it was so... Com- I think it was so calm at the time we yeah, made Yeah, I was about 3, to say that the big and- the big multiplayer game on the PlayStation 2 when we were putting out was so calm. And I don't... I mean... I'm sure there was some crossover, but you can't really assume that there's a lot of crossover between our audience and the SOCOM audience. Right. So, it was a big race in terms of just like, we're putting all this time into it, and we don't even know if people are going to play the goddamn thing. Um, and there was a, I mean, that, that was the big question. And, it, I mean, we also were very, very limited as to what we could do because we had to support a 56k modem and uh well it it was the uh, broadband adapter we were oh we didn't support the 56k so we, modem. i thought we did we didn't support it no uh if we did i didn't know about it but that's not surprising because i wasn't on the multiplayer team then uh but i i thought it was just the network adapter it's entirely possible i mean the fact that there was even still a if, 56k modem around kind of speaks to yeah. how long ago this actually was. <laughs> 
Like it. That's true. It's, it's unbelievable at this day and age to even consider that you would have to support 56k modems. The fact that one that the basically the PlayStation 2 launched two modems. One was broadband, and another one was 56k because they didn't want to, you know, exclude a large portion of their audience. Is is crazy town. Uh, this day and age. <laughs> like, you wouldn't even think about it. That's like, true. Oh, what about the people with 56k modems? Fuck, fuck the people with yeah. 56k modems. Okay, Clank. Transmission from the Phoenix. We've located Nefarious' star cruiser. It's refueling at the Zeldrin starport. Cork is already on his way there. It might be a trap. Oh man. Oh, Skid McRobot over there. I forgot about him. Like, kill all squishies, dude. So I mean that was the big that was a big thing in in Ratchet and Clank. So it's not like we could just pour a ton of development resources into Ratchet and Clank Three uh, multiplayer because we didn't know what we were getting out of it. I mean it was a it was a, it was an experiment that we were happy to take, but at the same time you have to really manage your risk and you can't put in half your development resources into multiplayer, especially if you're worried that only ten percent of your players are ever gonna see the thing. Yep. Yeah, that, and that was the world that that it was made in. So it, it kind of says a lot sort of about where our head was when we were designing it. So, I mean, we have all these discussions about like, oh, if we know then what we knew now, we would have done this, we would have done this. And uh, I think you made a good point is, I mean, I don't know if we really would have because it's it's just work. It's like, <laughs> oh, no, no, let's, let's put in a, a whole leveling system into our multiplayer. Uh the reality of it probably would have been, no, we're not doing that. We have three programmers and no artists and no designers working on multiplayer. Uh, we're doing a stripped down, easy version of this game as possible. Well, Corey was working on multiplayer, uh, designer wise. Oh, was so he? We did have uh, we did have a designer on it. Yeah. That's that's all I got there. I, I got nothing more than that. Uh, and I think we're done with the level. Oh, that's it. Nice and another nice and quick, easy level. Yeah, look at that. Three in a row. For Ratchet and Clank developer commentary, my name is Mike Stout. And I am Tony Garcia. And as always, we'll catch you next time. Sweet. <laughs>